What's up, Taiwan? I'm Erica Liu with 10 minutes of news from here in Taiwan and around the world. The Czech Republic and Taiwan signed several agreements on the final day of a trip by the Czech parliamentary speaker. Both countries also vowed to deepen their cooperation based on their shared values of freedom and democracy. Louise Watt reports. A boost for Taiwan after the loss of one of its diplomatic allies to China. A visit from a European country that wants to deepen its friendship with the semiconductor giant. The Czech Republic signed a slew of memoranda of understanding on cooperation in various fields, including museums, biotechnology and supply chain resilience. The signings came at the end of a five-day trip by a 160-strong Czech delegation of mostly business people. It's been led by the Speaker of the Lower Chamber of the Czech Parliament, who addressed Taiwan's legislature and told members they could count on Czech support. But when asked what concrete measures Prague could take to help Taiwan, the Czech parliamentarian was vague. Co se týče celkového počtu podepsaných memorand, které dnes nebo v tuto chvíli je kolem 11 a možná budou přibývat ještě další, byť jsou v různých oblastech, včetně těch ekonomických, tak přesně vybudovávání těchto vazeb je jedna z těch klíčových věcí, která nám pomáhá držet tu spolupráci takhle blízko a těžit z ní ve všech oblastech, včetně té, o které hovoříte, tedy té politické. Like many countries, the Czech Republic doesn't have official relations with Taipei, but Beijing. That's not stopping it from deepening non-diplomatic ties, despite objections from Beijing, which claims Taiwan as part of its territory. But analysts say there's little economic pressure Beijing can use against Prague. It is really important to highlight that the total value of a Taiwanese FDI stockpile in Czechia exceeds that of China by several accounts. So, um, the relations between uh, Czechia and China are quite weak. The visit by the Czech delegation has been a relief for Taiwan after the weekend loss of Honduras, a decades-long ally poached by China. The loss of Honduras leaves Taiwan with just 13 small nations that officially recognize it. But visits like this one show how its unofficial partnerships are blooming. Taiwan's most important and unofficial ally, the United States, is getting visits from President Tsai Ing-wen this week and next, as she travels to and from Taiwan's allies, Belize and Guatemala. Eastern Europe's growing links with Taiwan are partly because of its own history of authoritarianism. And as Speaker Adamova told Taiwanese lawmakers, the Czech Republic is fewer than 400 kilometers from Ukraine now invaded by Russia. As Taiwan deals with military and diplomatic pressure from its own huge neighbor, China, officials here are hoping they can count on these growing friendships with other democracies should they need help in the future. Patrick Chen and Louise Watt for Taiwan Plus. Five million imported eggs have landed on supermarket shelves across Taiwan. Agriculture Minister Chen Chi Jong last week said the government would import 7 million eggs by the end of this month to help crack a national egg shortage. On Wednesday, about 5 million of those eggs were expected to be in stock in Taiwan's two major supermarket chains, PX Mart and Carrefour. The Agricultural Ministry also says that Taiwan will import around 60 million eggs over the next two months. The director of Taiwan's Animal Industry Department says the government has scrambled to import eggs from several different countries. Taiwan has opened a new artificial intelligence center. The National Science and Technology Council set up the center to help set rules for AI applications and to establish international cooperation on AI projects. It will also seek to develop local AI talent. Taiwan's science minister says the center will pull resources from the government, academia, and the private sector. AI into生活 is 刚开始，人才、技术 
还有我们这个一些法治也刚开始，都未来如果人工智慧进到我们的生活里面，除了技术跟产业以外，事实上伦理、法治跟治理才是重点。台湾的经济体不大，但是如果我们把它整合起来，事实上成军出去力量蛮大。A recent survey has revealed the mental health of Taiwan's young people is getting worse. Researchers say a lack of home support and resources could be aggravating the issue. John Ventriest looks at the issue and spoke to a medical professional to find out what could be done to help. 17% of Taiwan's teens are depressed. By high school, 23% will have depression. These are just some of the results from a new survey of Taiwanese teenagers' mental health. The Child Welfare League Foundation, the group behind the study, says signs of poor mental health are extremely concerning. From 15 years old into early adulthood, suicide is Taiwan's second leading killer. 忧郁的感觉的话，跟以往相比，真的有增加一些些，因为以往大概就是一成左右。The group surveyed over 1,800 students aged 12 to 17. The survey included a questionnaire called DAS-21. That's short for Depression, Anxiety and Stress Scale 21 Questions. It's important to note that this isn't the same as a formal diagnosis, but it does shed light on how young people are feeling. What are teenagers depressed about? Schoolwork is at the top of the list. Academic performance is hugely important for school children in Taiwan, and it's common for teens to have extra tutoring late into the evening. 我们这次调查将近有八成的压力来源，第一名是学校的课业压力，那第二名是将近七成是未来的前途，其实也是跟学校就是未来考试有很大的关系。这样。But there are more universal teen concerns too. 然后还有四成三左右是。就是交友跟人际关系，因为他们这个时候是青春期，都会寻求同才的认同。What do mental health professionals make of this survey? Does Taiwan have a mental health problem, or are teenagers everywhere depressed because of the stresses and challenges that come at their age? I think it really depends on、uh, vary、uh, across the countries, and but it's similar figure. Yeah, particular you know,、uh, adolescent have higher、uh, prevalence of some.、Uh, Stress or anxiety, depression than the、uh, school-aged children, and I think this figure is uh, similar to、uh, Western countries. But it seems traditional ways of thinking can make it hard for people, especially young people, to seek help. I think our culture is not easy to express our mood status.、Uh, I'm I'm anxious. I'm depressed. Or、uh, I. I have some pressure from、uh, the school or the parents. They may try to suppress their, their feeling. And finding a specialist in that age group can be tough. Some hospital may not want to have、uh, you know, child psychiatrists because they cannot really earn the profit for the hospital. But while youth psychiatrists feel there are problems and more can be done, they also say awareness Infrastructure and a willingness to get kids help are all on the rise, and they say that if schools can find students that need help early on, the situation can get better. Eason Chen and John Vian Trieste for Taiwan Plus. It's official. Taiwanese singer Jay Chou had the best-selling album in the world last year. Chou's album Greatest Works of Art outsold artists like Taylor Swift and BTS. It topped the International Federation of the Phonographic Industry's global album sales chart for 2022. The IFPI is an international organization that represents the interests of the global recording industry. Chow became the first Mando pop singer to ever reach the number one spot on its sales chart. Past chart toppers include Adele, Ed Sheeran, and Arashi. Thank you for watching What's Up Taiwan. Remember to download the Taiwan Plus app for more stories from Taiwan and around the world. Finally, we leave you with images of a family of camels at Taipei Zoo. I'm Erica Liu. Take care and see you next time.